Hello and welcome again. Today we are going to talk about searching in a, a person in Maltego. Uh, this time we are adding more. Uh, we are not going to use the standard. We are going to add more. So what I did, if I go here and I can say images or image and I can search it, I can find Google's uh, social network and you install Google social network. You can install a uh, Wayback Machine and you can install any free actually. And then you go to a new graphic and um, in the graphic, you can search and, and scroll down about a specific thing. So over here, you can find a person, like a human. Last time we did a phrase. Now we are going to do number of things in, in the Maltego. We will talk, we will search by phone number. We're going to search about Twitter accounts and later on social media. But for now, we are looking for an individual. The only thing we know about this individual, the name. So now I'm not searching by a phrase, I'm searching for an individual. So I'm looking for a name. That's a specific thing. Um, let's make sure that we have it over here. We have John Doe over here. Let's go ahead and double click of it. Now it's say the first name over here because that's a person we know that they have a first name and they have a last name. I'm going to search on myself. And again, be careful in searching for individuals that they did not authorize you to search. Um, now we are searching a person. We are telling Maltego that this phrase is an individual, is a human being, not just finding it anywhere else. And we are going to run all and it will pull anyone with the name Ahmed L Z. So it should show up in a few. This is, is for Google search and yeah, we did not have a transfer for it. And you can see we had individuals with the name Ahmed Al Zaidi. We can scroll down and you can see myself over here. That's my website. Um, that's my email. Um, other emails showing up also. My account on Academia, my account on social, my account on Facebook, my account on Twitter account. Wherever my name showing up, this individual also showing up. And it's it's telling you it's a person, an email, a affiliation, website, or a phone number. So you can know exactly um, anything associated with this individual. Like this phone number is an all phone number for a company that I had before. So this, this is one of the methods that you can search for an individual um, and telling Maltego this is an individual. Maybe you know the phone number and you just go ahead and put the phone number and you can search for a phone number or much worse, you can search by an image, okay? You want to find image about, um, you have only the image, you don't have anything else, just an image. Um, you maybe had this image through a website, so let me go to my website quickly. So um, I have an image for myself, I'm going to bring it up, and this is the image from my website, and I go, okay, and now I'm going to search for this image, right? I have only the image. I don't have any other information. It should and it must be in a URL. And I'm running from 2010, uh, like January 1st, in 2010, all the way to um, 2022 and today's day. And we are going to run it. It should show the image about that individual. And I'm just looking by a specific thing, an image. Now it's showing up the locations where this image can be found. Um, if you had it from oh, like a Facebook or something, it may show up. If this image located in multiple locations, yes, it will show much more. Thank you very much and wait for more.